All right, so earlier this week, I told you some pretty embarrassing things uh, that I found as a child. I decided I didn't want to be the only one. <laughs> I wanted to find other people that were weird too as a kid. So I went around the building today and asked other people some weird things that they thought of as kids. They get pretty weird. I was about seven or eight years old and I was always fascinated by the radio box. Um, and I asked my dad one day, I'm like, Dad, are there like little people living in the box and you know, they just sneak in there during times when they have to go on? And at the time, he would just like shake his head and be like, sure, whatever you think. And then when I got older, I'm like, oh, there aren't really little many people that live there and walk in and do a radio show. So that's, that's what I thought as a kid. You want to know what weird stuff is in my brain? Uh, weird thoughts that I had as a kid. Well, when we used to go out driving and we get to the stoplights, I always thought there was like little elves with a flashlight that would just like travel between the three, yellow, green, blue, or yellow, green, red. And uh, yeah, I just thought they'd shine their little light and that's when you got to go or stop or you had to slow down. So I shared a room with my sister and my other sister had her own room and I had to go to bed before they did. And they told me when I was just a kid that if I heard three taps on my window, somebody was going to come in the room and kill me. Well, what they failed to tell me was, you know, there's a bush right outside the window. So every night there were three, anytime it was windy, there were three taps. Boy, after that second tap, I was down the hallway and out of that bedroom. Oh, Cindy, that's horrible. That's awful. One in particular that really stands out to me is that, uh, if you remember, I wonder if there's still a big thing, but I always remember the Fruit Gushers commercial where if you ate one, you know, on the commercial, their heads turned to fruit. I was terrified that that actually happened to you when you ate a Fruit Gusher. And I remember going to my friend's house, it's like first grade or whatever, and he offered me a packet of Fruit Gushers. And I was waiting to see if he'd eat one first, and it was just like this big standoff. So, I mean, looking back, that was pretty stupid. Did you ever eat the gusher? Sure. After he ate some first, I was like, okay, must be safe now. <laughs> okay. So something weird. Something weird that when I was a kid that I thought was was true. I, I remember thinking I was supposed to be an accountant because I like statistics. And then I took an accounting class and realized that it was the worst thing ever. <laughs> but I was terrible at accounting and there was no way I was ever going to do it. So I went into radio. So how long did you spend thinking you were going to be an accountant? I thought I was going to be an accountant for two years because my parents said I was I was good with numbers. And then what I realized is that I'm not good with those kind of numbers. Sports and radio was much more my speed. <laughs> Mine too.